Hello everybody, welcome to chapter 3, measurement of horizontal distance. I hope you are having a good time now learning the fundamentals of survey. Okay, so for this chapter, we are going to talk about distance measurement. And talking about distance measurement, this is generally regarded as the most fundamental of all surveying observations. So in traditional ground surveys, even though many angles may be read, the length of at least one line must be measured to supplement the angles and locating points. In plane surveying, the distance between two points means the horizontal distance. If the points are at different elevations, the distance is the horizontal length between the vertical lines at that point. Okay, so there are different methods for making linear measurements. First on the list is um, pacing. Second is the odometer reading. We have optical range finders, geometry or stature, substance bar, taping, and then electronic distance measurement, and satellite systems. So although uh, napakarami anong methods uh, in making linear measurements uh, malak mga malimit na ano, na ginagamit itong mga iba ang very popular na ginagamit ngayon is actually the electronic distance measurement uh, which is uh, one and the uh, satellite system so itong electronic distance measurement nakapaloob na siya sa, ano, sa mga total station na ginagamit natin ngayon. So, ito naman sa, sa satellite systems. May mga bansa na gumagamit na nito. But uh, in the case of the uh, Philippines, I think uh, wala pa tayong satellite, uh, satellite system. Uh, the US, Russia, China, Japan, and the European Union satellite systems in global navigation okay. uh, for this chapter we are going to focus our discussion on uh, pacing that's number one and taping number six on the list okay, so although hindi na masyadong ginagamit yung uh, mga methods na ito itong pacing kasi it's a, it's a very valuable method ano? kasi uh, wherever you go kahit wala pang measurement or measuring device you can use pacing although it's not uh, the accuracy or the relative precision is uh, very very small yung, yung, uh, you can even use it anytime pwede siya pang estimate lang na distances so, uh, so let us focus on our discussion on pacing when we say pacing uh, we are actually uh, computing for our the, 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 uh, we are counting for the number of steps okay, so one step is one pace maliti kayo na sa one pace may isang agda may isang pace may isang agda Okay, so let us look at the figure. Okay, so, so pacing can be measured uh, two to two, j pung two, iti nga to, iti nga to iti iti saka or yung saka ito pa. No, iti nang measure lang, sama tida pa. Or sama tida sa haka ito. We call it the toe-to-toe -to distance. Okay? And pwede ding heel to heel. It's really good. Okay. So, the distance should be the same. Okay? That's one pace. Then, two paces is equal to one stride. Usually, ang ginagamit natin dito, kinocompute natin is the pace factor. Okay? Ang symbol natin for pace factor is PF. And the pace factor is computed as 
the length of the line divided by the mean number of bases. So, bali, tatlo lang yung mga variables natin for pacing. We have the base factor, the length of the line, and the mean number of bases. Okay, so, syempre, uh, itong base factor, kaya nasa ulti base factor, kasan nung iti uh, distance nor kada yung iti may sang hanggang mo. Okay, base factor is measured in unit length per base. Okay, so, kas to mare din, ginagamit natin yung meter. No? So, base factor is nasa unit of meters per base. So, when I was a student, nagkaroon kami ano ng, ng laboratory exercises about pacing. And sana, uh, kung nandito kayo, I think, uh, gagawin nyo rin ito. Uh, yung base factor na na-compute ko sa akin is 0. Uh, 0. 0.67 okay, so, uh, yung base factor hindi naman siya constant uh, nagbabago yung base factor natin uh, nagbabago yung distance ng isang step natin as we grow older And, itong base factor very valuable siya for example nandun ka sa some site, construction site, and they don't have any uh, tape or measuring device. Okay, ang unang ginagawa natin is pacing. And just to estimate the distance uh, between two points. Okay. So, let us learn how to solve or how to use space for try to solve some problems involving pacing. Okay, so this is uh, our first problem. A 60 meter line XY on a level ground was paced by a surveying student for the purpose of determining his pace factor. The number of paces for each trial is as follows. We have 73, 72, 72.5, 74, 73.5, 72, and 73 paces. Determine his space factor. And then, the second scenario, if the student then took 112, 111, 112.5, and 113 paces on an unknown distance AB, what is the length of the line? Okay, so una, uh, sagutan muna natin ito, determine his space factor. Uh, this is uh, determined by the predetermined line XY na merong distance na uh, 60 meters. Okay? So, remember the formula for pace factor is equal to the length of the line divided by the mean number of paces. Okay? So, we know the length of the line to be 60 meters. Now, what we do not know is the mean number of paces, but we can compute that based from the given data. Okay, so the mean number of paces, the mean number of paces is just the average of these numbers right here. Ito yung mga number of paces niya. Bale, na mean 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Na mean 7 is una nga nagsubli subli between points X and Y to determine his pace or pace factor. Okay, so for the first try, there are 73 paces. Second try, 72. Okay, so the mean is just the average of this number. So that's 73 plus 72 plus 72.5 plus 74 plus 73 plus 72 Okay, divided by the total number of observations. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay? So the mean number of paces in this case is equal to, let us use our calculator here, that's 73 plus 72 plus 72.5 plus 74 plus 73.5 plus 72 plus 73 
divided by 7 is equal to 72.857124 decimal places. So that's 72.8571 paces. Okay, so therefore we can solve for the pace factor. The pace factor is just equal to 60 meters divided by 72.8571 paces. Okay. Okay, therefore, the pace factor is equal to uh, 60 divided by the answer, that's 0 0.82, two, two decimal places, so that's 0 0.82 meters per pace. Okay, ito ngayon yung distance for every step ng uh, surveying student na yan, huh? So, we now know the pace factor of the surveying student. Now, let us determine the length of an unknown line. Okay, for the second scenario, naglakad siya ngayon for, for an, uh, another four trials, di ba? So, uh, uh, there are 112 steps for the first try, 111 for the second try, 112.5, and then 113. Okay, let us determine the distance of this line AB. Okay, if we look at our formula, the pace factor is equal to length over the mean number of paces. We can actually solve for the length of the line in terms of the pace factor and the mean number of paces. Right? So, L is equal to the pace factor times the mean number of paces. Okay, so since alam na natin yung pace factor, the mean number of paces for a length AB, so the mean number of paces for length AB is equal to uh, let us get the average 112 plus 111 plus 112.5 plus 113 divided by how many observation 1 2 3 4 so that's divided by 4 let us use our calculator to solve for the mean so 112 plus 111 plus 112.5 plus 113 divided by 4 that's equal to 112.125 paces. Okay, so therefore, the length of the line, length of line AB, is equal to the pace factor of the student, that's 0.82 meters per pace, uh, multiplied by the mean number of paces, that's 112.125. And the length is... Okay, multiply lang natin ito by 0.82 and that's equal to 91.9425 91.9425 meters okay so ito na kayo yung solution natin for this example hello everybody so let us answer the second problem for pacing in five trials of walking along a 100 meter course, a pacer counted 50, 53, 52, 53, and 50 strides. Determine the pace factor of the pacer. Okay. Remember that the formula for the pace factor is equal to the length of the line divided by the mean number of paces. We are already given the length of the line to be 100 meters. Okay, so ang problema lang natin dito is the mean number of paces. Remember that one stride is equal to one pace. Ito, ang given kasi sa atin ay stride. So ito, mga to, they are all in strides. So let us compute for the mean number of paces. Eh, ang ano lang dito, it times 2 natin, di ba? Yung mga given na figures dito kasi th these are in strides. Okay, so the mean number of paces, therefore, equal to so how do we do this one in stride no? 50 plus 53 plus 52 plus 53 plus 50 and then divide this by 
by that by 5 you say 1 2 3 4 5 there are 5 observations so let us use our calculator to solve for the mean number of uh, strides this one is in a stride 50 plus 53 plus 52 plus 53 plus 50 divided by 5 equals 51.6 so this one is equal to 51.6 strides okay, and then if we convert this to pace that's 2 times 51.6 that is equal to multiply natin itong sagot natin times 2 equals 103.2 103.2 paces okay now we have the L and the M we can solve for the pace factor the pace factor is just equal to the length of the line which is 100 meters divided by the mean number of paces in this case this is 103.2 paces okay therefore the pace factor is okay, 100 divided by 103 0.2. Okay, so let us uh, round this off to two decimal places. So that's 0 0.97 meters per pace. Okay, so this is the pace factor of the given person in this specific example.